Greetings, Emmett here from readingforwisdom.com. Our featured work uh, in this episode is Written in History, edited by Simon Seabag Montefiore. Montefiore is a great historian and specialist in writing on Russia. He's done some uh, excellent works on the Soviet era, particularly focusing on the life of Joseph Stalin. Uh, also a lot of uh, work on the Tsarist period. But in this uh, collection, what he's done is he's gathered over 100 letters from the ancient times right up until 2018. And he's grouped them under a, a number of category headings. Love, family, creation, war, blood, friendship, decency, power, goodbye. There's some other categories as well. And what he does with each letter is he uh, does a little introductory vignette and then produces either the full letter or an excerpt. And these letters are from a whole range of historical figures, uh, many of them really familiar to us, some of them a little bit more obscure. And um, he really teases out uh, from these letters some real points of interest that um, shock us, that amuse us, that intrigue us and that give us little insights into uh, people and historical figures that we mightn't have seen before. Some of the standouts uh, for me include under the decency heading a very sad and touching but eminently decent letter from Jackie Kennedy to Nikita Khrushchev. Uh, Kennedy wrote this in her last days in the White House after her husband's assassination and it's a very very touching a letter that shows even though um, President Kennedy and uh, Chairman Khrushchev were enemies on the world stage as such, there was a rapport and a friendship almost between them. It's a very, very touching letter. Some other standouts include uh, letters from Stalin. Under the love heading, there's a very curious uh, love letter uh, to one of his girlfriends from uh, early on in uh, Stalin's career. Um, under the blood and power headings, there's some very, very frightening letters. Um, some other stand -ups, uh, uh, standouts are under the fate section. A series of letters between Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr, and that exchange which led to Alexander Hamilton, uh, the uh, great uh, American founding father, uh, eventually led to his death in a duel. And very, very sad uh, exchange of letters, all based on honour, misplaced honour and uh, broken friendships. Um, so really, really uh, interesting uh, collection. Um, I'm going to read um, a little section for you now that comes under the blood heading. So under the blood section uh, contains five letters. Strangely, four of them are from the 20th century and all featuring communist dictators. My favourite, though, is an exchange between Tito, uh, Marshal Tito of Yugoslavia, and Joseph Stalin. The letter that terrified the most terrifying leader of modern times. When a schism grows between the communist allies, the Soviet and Yugoslavia, Soviet leader Stalin expects the smaller country to bow before his power. Instead, the Yugoslav president, Marshal Tito, defies Stalin, who is incensed. He sends assassins to murder Tito, but they repeatedly fail. Finally, the Yugoslavian sends this note to Stalin, who supposedly kept it with a few other special letters in his personal safe, where it was found after his death. The letter worked. Stalin stopped sending assassins. Stop sending people to kill me! We've already captured five of them, one of them with a bomb and another with a rifle. If you don't stop sending killers, I'll send a very fast working one to Moscow, and I certainly won't have to send another. Chilling stuff. So, written in history, a delightful little collection of letters, and very well edited by Montefiore. Uh, the only one gripe I have is in the subtitle of the book, Letters That Change the World. Many of the letters in here are not world changing, but that doesn't make them any less delightful insightful, poignant, sad, thought-provoking. This is a collection that I highly recommend.
Thanks for watching this episode of Reading for Wisdom. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like on YouTube or subscribe to our channel. Also, come over to our website, readingforwisdom.com, visit, visit us there. We have lots of downloads, some extra writings, and you can also buy the books that we featured in this video. Thank you.